I'm going to turn it here again. Um, okay, so previously I showed you guys how to operate the uh, automatic pistol. Um, very easy, uh, it might take some while to, before it, um, to get used to it for a lot of you that's not familiar with uh, firearm, or maybe you don't have your competency, but in the meantime you bought yourself a blank gun, maybe you haven't operated a gas gun, like a blowgun gas gun, that sort of thing. So you're not entirely familiar with how a firearm works, that sort of thing. So if you're not familiar with what our fire, um, automatic fires, uh, blank gun, sort of semi-automatic blank gun works, and you guys are looking for that video instead, you know, please go have a look at that video. This video now will um, entail revolvers, blank, specifically blank gun revolvers, but it will also be relevant for firearm revolvers as these two revolvers work exactly the same, more or less the same. Okay, so straight into that. So this is a stubby two-inch revolver, nothing special to it, very it's like, you can call this a um, loose replica of the, 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 the Colt Viper, two-inch barrel here, you know, like a typical .38 special um, chamber, or some, some revolvers, 9mm short, whichever. Yeah. Um, okay, so here's the notch here. Um, normally you push this, this notch backward and that would be, you know, you're safe, you would not be able to actuate the hammer. But in this case, it um, doesn't seem to have that functionality. Of course, here's the nape of the wall. You would be brandishing the revolver like this. Full metal trigger guard, which I like. So this trigger is not going to actuate any time. Um, it's also nice and hard to pull. So, you know, that's added safety. Of course, this is now what is referred to double action mode. So, just to touch my... Touch my... Thank you. Um, yeah, just to... So, this is double action mode. This is single action mode. So we yeah, are very good. Okay. Two inch barrel, meaning if this were firearm, I would not engage necessarily beyond 15 meters with it. In fact, I would feel more secure engaging up to 10 meters with this. Um, so yeah, just, just some food for thought. This is lighter weight. And for self-defense, this is perfect. The reason why I say so is because, unlike an uh, automatic pistol, you have six chambers here. If one, one round doesn't go off, you're not sitting with a jam issue, you don't have to wrap the slide. Just pull the trigger again, and next you can see this, 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 chair, this cylinder rotate each time. So if one round doesn't go off, no problem. Just pull the trigger off, that one's sure to go off. So maybe that one should just keep on pulling that trigger. You know, you're really in a situation where you need to defend it until that lucky one goes off, whatever, and that stick it for whoever is trying to attack it. Um, that would be now with a firearm revolver, um, just blank gun, you know, I would pop up and eventually big bang, you know, this thing would produce, um, uh, produce a big bang, you know, with a muzzle flash. No spent brass, spent brass casings are ejected with this stuff, so also just bear in mind. Um, this, and I discharge my rounds one after the other, you know, this also shoots um, semi-automatic, so when I shoot this, no brass casings are coming out. The brass casings are that you stay inside you, which is nice because in some instances you don't want your brass casings lying all over the place. Uh, some cases this is advantageous, some cases this is not advantageous. Just for your use, for your consideration, just, yeah, take that, yeah, make it out of that. Um, okay, so otherwise, this is ammo, you have your sight here, normally you would be able to adjust this for windage and elevation, for depth. You know, normally a revolver, you, you keep your finger clear of this, you don't want to you know, interfere with that. As well as the hammer, there's no beaver tail here like on a, like on a firearm, so if you this thing, this, you know, you don't want this, you know, like this, to come, come out and bite you like this. Um, trust me, with a, with a revolver, a firearm revolver, this thing can and will nip. This, this webbing here, um, it will nip that all colors of the rainbow, pink, blue, whatever color, and that's going to cause internal bleeding, it's just an inconvenience, you're going to hassle yourself, maybe you do writing job, that's going to, uh, please don't do that, um, keep your hand just secure uh, away from the danger area, which is, just check the arc of movement of your hammer, and keep this webbing, especially as, like, you know, more, What's the word? Bigger, bigger hands. And just keep this webbing, you know, 
uh, safely away from this and this arc of movement. Because if you're pulling this to be especially on the straight, that thing's just going to come around and nip your webbing. Um, yeah. Okay, otherwise, okay. So now I load this gun up. You can see it's a six shot revolver. You can see the six shots there. How I will do this on five rounds of just to not show you guys. Again, put pointing this in the same direction. And this round goes in again with the, um, the rim facing the rear. Each one with a speed loader. I'm not too speed loaded with blank guns, but normally with, if you have a pole, you know, throw it up and like this. Not your web lead, right type, just your pole so, uh, soon out type. Leading out type, sorry. You would have this. Speed loader, you can just chuck in quite down. Chuck this in. Yeah, so this is the hammer, this is engaged. Normally if, if I were to pull the trigger off, this thing would fall. Now in a situation like this, maybe you know you, you have his bullets in, now your hammer is popped, now you're stretching. You know, how do I do this? How do I stretching now, maybe shaking? You know, just relax. Grab this hammer securely. Release it, relax it like this. That round should not go off. Make sure, please, there's notches, you can hold it properly. Don't take that thing slip from your fingers. That round will go off. Unpleasant, you don't want that. You don't want to alert your neighbors unintentionally. Do it like this. See, all the rounds are there. Um, what you can just do then. Just chop them out like this. You know, spin for spacing, whatever. Check them, you know. I just like doing it. It's pointless, you don't normally would do that. You just you know, put it up like this. Like that. You know, proper, someone who's used to revolvers would do it. And, you know, just like that. Um, <laughs> um, otherwise, yeah, we really like this. We're done. This is a Zorak, by the way, just a Zorak in two inch one. This color tone is called the fume one. I like it. It's nice, tactical color. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the gist of how to operate a revolver. Nice thing about it, double action or single action. Or if you want to, you know, play a uh, cowboy style, you can hold in the hammer like this. Like you know, some certain, some small, you know, with each time you pop them, you know, the sooner would twist. So you just pop, 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 just go to like this. Like, you know, they usually do it with a, a cold single action army type revolvers. Um, this one, you can't do it. Um, it's a bit pointless. But for flash, you can probably do that if you want to do. Um, otherwise, yeah, plastic grip stocks done and done. Check it here. So, checking on this is nice. This is the ideal like, handbag gun. You can chuck it in your purse or your handbag. Ideal, you know, you pull this thing out. You know, if there's a puddle or a tootsie, he's, he's checking you with this thing immediately. You know, if he sees you know how to use this thing immediately, you know, he's going to turn around and tuck tail. Gun. Just when you buy, purchase yourself a revolver like this, just acquaint yourself with this RTD, cock your revolver safely because, yeah, they're so, they're so slight you can rack enough you know, to get your chamber empty. And they so, you know, if your thing is you can't, you know, in this position you can't, you know, take your chamber out. Normally on a firearm you can just make sure, you know, rack, rack your slide check. Reach is empty, you know, make well it's empty. In this case, if there's rounds in, unavoidably you'll have to master this technique. And you, know, there's a, you can feel this here and you can let this hammer go very safely. Open your breech as I showed a moment ago. Just press on this lever, just eject your cartridges, pull your cartridges come up, swivel this back up. Um, normally, uh, with a revolver like this, you can have your safety push it back, you can take this away safely. In this case, Unfortunately, no. So you need to be a bit more careful with this. You, you know, with, this is now loaded full of cartridges. Um, yeah, um, just make sure this doesn't snag anyway. Just put it where this and you know, wouldn't be able to snag because it, this is for you know the tr the trigger weight needed to make this hammer do that. It's not much. Um, the trigger guard is there, you know, to prevent anything from intentionally, you know, going in there. But this. This entire area, you see, you see, uh, it's it's very broad, so anything can come out here, you know, through that. So, yeah, just a word of caution. Otherwise, it's really nice, black and rugged. Um, yeah. So.
So yeah, that's it. That's how you operate a blank revolver. Um, thank you guys for watching this far. And yeah.